Today, I'm going to talk to you about some vitamins that I use for uh, an implementation of flight level. I had to say that I'm not an expert. Uh, I did that experience after uh, the architecture, architect architecture in flight levels course with Jose Casal present today. So I want to share my experience. Who am I? Guys, I'm Argentinian. I'm computer science engineer. I did an MBA in Madrid a couple of years ago, trainer of SAFE and Kanban. Usually I'm a speaker on agile events. I consider myself a free thinker, geek. I'm father of four children. So I'm, four children. I'm an, an imperfect husband. I have worked in several industries like porn, but not what you think, guys. I, I, I was webmaster of a porn website. Uh, also, in, I don't know, nuclear, defense, uh, banking, energy, a lot of industries. Uh, there you got my contact if you want to keep in contact after the, the session. I'm uh, passionate about this kind of uh, uh, topic, so feel free to contact me if you want to keep talking about it. So my experience in this, that, that was... Uh, uh, Klaus, you will see the, the images here, very familiar with, with your book because I'm taking it from your book because I love it. Uh, we got a, a te telecommunication company that they, their main goal was to improve their time to market by also they want to be proactive, diversify their offering and respond to the customer demands, right? Uh, I was just finishing the, the, the course that I said before with, with uh, Jose, and I was all that idea from 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 uh, flight levels uh, uh, theory. And, and when when this guy started to telling us what they need, it was very familiar with this. It, it, it was a perfect match. You will see in the next slide also. So they, they want to, uh, to to fight against these problems with agility, of course. Uh, they, they, but they have a, a, a transformation manager, a, just a new transformation manager that has previous experience in the banking industry. And the, that guy said, okay, guys, we will do that transformation, but I don't want the, the Spotify or, or a safe releases because I had this before and it wasn't the, the, the best uh, experience. We need something different. So, second match, you know? uh, maybe a flight level is the solution for that. Uh, and, and their uh, previous experience, uh, that guy says that they also, the, the usual, they had uh, cross-functional teams, product teams, everyone uh, decided uh, if they can use Scrum, Kanban, of course, uh, boards, set a uh, standard meeting and retro, usual. And they, they also measure velocity, typical lead time and release frequency that was the key three metrics but the thing was also it was a one and a half year banking in the, my banking project more than 500 people trained they have tribes and releases release trains like i said before 43 teams they contract external 10 external team facilitators scrum master 10 extra, 10 external agile coaches and one enterprise agile coach. And they, uh, in, in, a, in a shadowing model, they are starting to, to train 34 internal uh, Scrum Master or team facilitators, uh, 23 product owners and two uh, agile coaches. Okay, that was uh, 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 some details about the, the, the previous experience of these guys, but it, it, everything looks very good. Uh, 23 teams strong format, four tribes, two release trains. They had metrics, retrospectives, and so on. Uh, task board, standard meetings, like I said before. And of course, again, uh, in non-graphics, uh, the, the, the expected velocity of the, 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 the teams, the, the scrum teams was that, but the actual is going down. The lead time in the Kanban, in the Kanban teams uh, it was expected to, to go up, but um, it was expected to go down, but, but the, the, re the reality was that finally it's starting to grow up and up. And the time to market of the project, it, it, it was expected to, to go down, but uh, the, the result was 
going up and up and up. Not so good at all. That's very familiar, perfect match between the, the theory of flight levels at the book and what the experience of this guy in, 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 in this punk experience. The reasons was, of course, they started changing the structure without knowing uh, the, the, the business, really the, the problems, and they had that kind of experience on uh, using Spotify model, no? changing the, the communities of practice to guilds, chapters, uh, the departments to chapters, innovation at 1 p.m. Of course, GR Enterprise and a punishment scheme for a squad that underperforms was the, the typical Spotify implementation. So we need to revert, we need to fire agile coaches, uh, preparing bad performance reviews for managers and stuff. Here, they're preparing bonuses for the executive teams, unable to uninstall agile because it's too deep in the company and presenter to download safe. Wow. Usually the experience with that, with that second part of the transformation, when you have to install the, the safe part, you, the promise is you will get a, a, a train that, that uh, delivers in a, with cadence some, some uh, deliverable, uh, but the trains you the, the, the way the coaches usually deliver is more similar to this, right? The happy train and, and the office. So another problem with this, uh, with it, 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 that happened uh, in South America at least, that there is a competition uh, between companies to see who has the biggest big room planning. They try to get the entire company. Uh, is in, 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 the, in the social media, you see pictures of, 500, 600 people on the big room planning, very expensive and absolutely uh, not useful at all. Another thing that, that we see on, on, on the previous experience of these guys, agility without getting our hands dirty. What, what we mean with that is uh, we're starting to, to, to try to help teams but without knowing what they really do. We see a lot of Scrum Master that never had experience uh, in, the, in the software world. So uh, we see that, that, uh, that servant leaders like this guy here, they're just giving, I don't know, support of what? Uh, <laughs> so uh, to get results, we got to understand the business. We got to get our hands dirty because Agility is not some mythological, mythological creature that it posted on sheet software. That's one of my favorite <laughs> slides. So the reason number one, we got a, a problems on the change process. We, got, we are that guy were repeating recipes from that 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 worked previously in other contexts, but not in this context. And of course, usually uh, the, we the, the agile coaches get in love with the trendy and easy solutions that not always give us the best results, the easy way. Okay, there is a second, a second problem also present on the, on the, on the, on the book that it, it was related with the, with the waiting, with the external waiting. We had, this is a, 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 a board that represents the, the work of a team, but of course we, we got relation with other, or dependency with other teams so in, in some part of the, the flow, we have to wait for the team two to do something. And the, the team does two has also to wait for someone else. And we get at a scale, something like that. So, you know, I, I, I don't think that I have to explain too much because everyone has, have, has passed for, for some, that kind of, uh, of mess. So another uh, quote, I think that is from, from Klaus also, add more power to these cars or, uh, or, or increasing the, uh, the number of cars on, on, in this road will solve the problem? Not at all. But usually in the companies, we try to solve our business problem, adding more cars or adding more power to the cars, but not working on the highway, okay? That solution, the solution comes from that part. So reason number two, no agile interactions or we limit in all the company, 
we try to start more. And they, they, they tell us that one of the, the, the key KPI, it was the amount of uh, uh, finished projects. If they have more pro uh, a finished project than expected, that was a very good indicator. Mm, not good at all. So the solution, as you can imagine, it came from taking Klaus uh, theory, the, 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 the thinking model, flight levels, but with some friends. We, we invited uh, some theory from team topologies. To, we, we take the interaction models from, from them. Uh, we use OKRs, of course. Uh, some uh, uh, parts of world maps. We take some, we borrow some stuff from SAFE, and of course, uh, uh, Scrum Theory, Kanban, XP, and DevOps. Uh, the usual invited to these kind of parties. So, so, just a quick review about fly levels. Fly level is a thinking model well, uh, that tell us, uh, uh, help us to discover what to do and what to do in an organization to achieve the results that we want to achieve. And it consists of five activities that has to be carried out in three levels, okay? The five activities are visualize the situations, create focus, establishing agile interactions, measure progress, operate and improve, and of course, this is a cycle. All these activities has to be applied in, in three flight levels that we will see in the next slide what the, the that flight levels are. And it's a, a metaphor from aviation, uh, the flight levels uh, idea. Uh, uh, that, that, that tell us that depending on the, the height that we are flying is what we observe and the, the details and, and has a different utilities. Every, every different uh, height has a different utilities, okay? And semantic, of course. And here it comes an interesting part. Uh, at, the, at the first level, the, the, the most known level to, to every one of us is the operational level. We talk about teams and there, we usually, or we, we apply a Scrum, Kanban, or XP. On the second level, and that is a coordination level, uh, where we uh, take care of the interaction of the, the, that teams on the level one, number one. We use uh, team topologies and DevOps to, to help us to, to, to get the, that, that glue of the, the, the different uh, teams. And in the top, uh, the, uh, or a third level, a strategic level, we use uh, a worldly maps, some things from SAFE, and of course the OKRs uh, theory and QBRs and stuff. So, and and, and in the in a, this is the the, the, the questions that, that that solve that three levels. Why? And on the top level, the, the level three, we have to prioritize, and and we work there at the portfolio of the program team. In the second level, uh, we have to coordinate, and we talk about product services but with an end-to-end queue. -end and finally, in, in the lower level, or team level, we have to respond to the, to the question, what? What we have to do, and we take care of the execution, okay? So, so how we started? We, we have, I, I was with, the, with the, all that theory, the great theory about, about flight level, but it's difficult when you have to put it on, on, on going. We have to draw uh, the, the system architecture. It seems easy when you see it on theory, but what, what, when you think on a company that has different channels, different products, different uh, services, it's a mess and it's very difficult to start to drive in this. How we did it? We did, it's not an easy way, but it was very, very useful. We use a body, we create a body stream map that take about one month. And it was about 200 people involved in that where we started to painting how the process of the, the, this organization was, this uh, telecommunication company. Only this, uh, this column here represents the development part of the, the process. And we started to discover what areas or team were involved with on, on every column, uh, what controls or approvals were needed, what key persons was involved with inputs, outputs of, of every stage, what pains they had, the, per the percentage of accuracy they are getting from the previous step, the average lead time or process time, system involved estimated uh, value to see if uh, the, 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 the people see that, 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 that this value on, on that step or we are able to take it off. And we started, we, we used this like a initial map to see where we 
can do some adjustment and, or, and identifying that relations uh, to find the, 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 the architecture, right? It was very, very useful. And I, I really recommend it to you. That was one of the of, of my, my advices uh, with this approach, value stream mapping. Another thing that worked very well, we defined that we will have uh, an idea we take from team topologies that we will have three collaboration, the three interaction modes. The first one, the most used, it was a mode collaboration, where we have 32 development teams uh, that was coordinated at level two by getting together by product, by channel, or, or by applications with uh, some overlap between them, maybe a team that is on, on, on a channel, but also on an application. And there we use Kanban, Scrum, and dual track. I will say a little bit about dual track in this slide. Uh, for teams with uh, high demand and shared amount of people, uh, we had the, the interaction uh, uh, as a service. And we got their uh, the, uh, architecture, cybersecurity, that uh, data man management, billings, and, and six support teams that that, that, that solve uh, production issues. Uh, we got the DevOps team that was uh, in a hybrid between X, uh, X as a service and facilitating because uh, they are, were uh, available as a service for the pipelines creation, but they are facilitate, facilitating for uh, training and mentoring teams to uh, get that, that practices inside the teams. And of course, we got two GOES uh, Center of Excellence for the Agile and, and the uh, Quality Assurance that they work on the interaction mode facilitating. Okay. And we also take the idea from Team Topologies to define a team. API for every team. So everyone in the company will know how they should interact with, with this team. We define the uh, what uh, type of, uh, of team they, they had, they, 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 with who with what system they are interacting right now. Uh, to define the scope. And and and, and like the, the most of the team was technology teams, they understand that idea at the first. Very good idea to and useful too. Another thing, very, very interesting. We use uh, a, a, a probably a rubbish approach of world mapping, but we, it was very useful because one of the, the interesting thing, world mapping uh, led us to, to paint system or part of the system, uh, taking in account, into account two things. How visible uh, that systems are uh, from the external users and the, the evolution of the technologies involves on, on the, on the, that every part of the system. So, taking that into account, uh, Wally, Simon Wally says that usually, if you had something visible and is that is uh, just bur uh, just uh, on the genesis or uh, or being uh, naciendo, Jose, I'm sorry, uh, Yendo, being born, American. being born. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, if you get a, techno a, a technology that, that is being born, in, uh, born, probably Agile is, is a solution for you. But if you are something more uh, uh, mature, uh, Agile is starting to, to lose uh, power and you have to think about a uh, lean approach or Six Sigma approach. And probably you, will, you can uh, move it out from the, your company. So what we get from here is that we decide that web portal part, the, the, the front part of the web portal and the mobile app will be in the full agile method and, and, and we, we, we use a uh, dual track like, like I will show in the next slide. Uh, the, the part of uh, the CMS consumed by the web portal and the mobile app and the CRM were uh, in the renting model and we outsource the OTT service and the ERP that usually, uh, but at the beginning of the, 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 this transformation, it was part of the full agile thing. OTT is uh, over the top, is uh, some kind of Netflix internal. They are thinking to create a Netflix, their own Netflix on the company. So using this world mapping tool and, and analysis, we decided that it wasn't a good idea, it wasn't a strategic uh, decision, 
to take this like a full agile and, and, and custom development, the, the good thing was to take it from uh, from someone else and outsource this 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 service. Uh, another thing we use it, but, but like like I said before, uh, the mobile app and portal was in this model, dual track model. What is that uh, dual track thing? We have uh, the, the team divided in two parts. One of the parts uh, takes care of the, the, the discovery track. They, they, they try to they, they create prototypes. They, they validate hypotheses, but without building it, just on, 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 on drawings, on, on, on prototypes. And, and, and once they validate that there is interest that the, the, the user wanted, they, they move it to the, to the development backlog and only the, 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 the continuous delivery track take validated things and not uh, experiment because it's too expensive to, to uh, the, the develop something that people doesn't want. So good idea to use this, this approach too. That's a tool we use it to, to decide. It's just a beta, it's something that, that we created there, there uh, to, to choose if the, the teams were better to, to work with the Scrum Man or Scrum. I, I will share the, 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 this slide with you, but the three main part of uh, the three main indicators here is if you get only one product uh, or, or project or service, Scrum probably is a good idea, but if you have more, Scrum Man is more, more adequate. If the work nature, if we are talking about new features or improvement, uh, Scrum is better than if you got support maintenance or wrong, or if you uh, are talking about an uncertainty of or ignorance of the product or the market we are uh, building. If very high, the, the inspect kind of that part of Scrum is very good, but if not, you can go for the for the common uh, side. And this is something that you will have some indicators that you move if you and if you get more from the right side. Common is a good idea. If you get more of the Scrum, uh, Scrum is more adequate. But it's just a better. Uh, don't take it like a like a rule. It's, it's just an, an experimentation that, that we were doing there. Uh, another thing, uh, very very important. We decided that that, that the fly item was a strategy uh, defined by OKRs and, and initiatives also related with the OKRs components. That was the uh, uh, the first slicing of initiatives that take one for three months, epics and stories and subclass. That's very important to define this because all the people involved on in that need to understand the same thing. If we don't understand the same thing, it will be very, very difficult to, to communicate each other. That was the, the, the operational level. That's the second level of coordination it involves epics and components. And the strategic level talks about the strategy initiatives and components. And we put it at that. On Jira, uh, Jira doesn't come. It's not the best uh, tool for that, but th there is something interesting about Jira that uh, you have a, a Jira query language, so you can create some kind of uh, queries in a, in a data database, and you can get information from different projects on the same uh, the board, and it could be good, but you need to to to, to be uh, all all the teams agree with. Uh, with the semantics, because if, if not, what you see here is, is not, not a good stuff. And, and uh, the team is evaluating right now Jira Aligned to get more, uh, this with some extra vitamins. Uh, we also take uh, the, the program board from, from SAFE, that is a good tool to, to identify dependencies. Um, probably uh, with the time that is starting to get a little bit messy, but it's a good starting point to, to and, and probably teams never talk about that in that way. And finally, what benefits we, we get from this approach? Uh, it does not require changes on, on the organization chart that uh, usually hurt. Uh, let us allow uh, align a strategy with the with tactics and operations. Uh, the, the visual management part enhances uh, transparency, empathy, collaborations, and, and make the, the decision maker making easier. Uh, really help us to improve the, the time to market. Uh, uh, let us talk in the, in the same semantic, uh, the appropriate semantic at each level. Um, 
uh, is, is agnostic about frame. We can combine it with other tools, frameworks, uh, or method, and uh, let us with the visualization part uh, help us reduce the uh, maintain our focus and reduce the, the work in progress, and not just at the team level. So, final quote from the master: Business agility is not about having a lot of agile teams. It's about having agile interactions between teams. So that's it about in time. We got four minutes for a question. I was, I'm sorry if I was so fast. I'm sorry for my rubbish English. But, so that was, guys. That was good. Some questions. Mauro, how are you finding the the how well the concepts of team topologies and flight levels merge together? I think it's a perfect match mm -hmm. uh, because the, the the good thing of uh, of uh, uh, flight level is that it's it's like a framework. It's open. It's just an, a thinking model, but doesn't tell you how to do things. So how to do it? Take uh, and and and, uh, and team topologies tell you how to do it. So you can. Just make it, this is perfect fit. Don't be shy guys, do you have some question? Or do you don't understand just a word about what I say? I think one thing you showed that was um, very interesting was having to coordinate everything, you know, having to coordinate the things that link together and that kind of thing. What were the challenges you found with that? Well, that was my first experience with applying flight level. So the challenge was about everything. But I didn't know how to start. I liked the theory, but I didn't know how to start. So I started to, to I think that, that the, the, doing that uh, uh, value stream mapping tool could be help, helpful to, to I don't know, they're trying to identify where, what the, the interrelations were or how the process and, and give us a lot of clue. That, that, that was, I think that was a very good idea. And, and I think it's the core of the, of the solution, starting to think the, the, the initial assessment using uh, that tool. While it's remapping worked very, very well. And, and uh, that, that was my, my, my first challenge, how to start with it. Yeah. Thank you. Was it a large organization uh, that, that you, you implemented this at? And did you have did you have like multiple kind of um, um, like level threes, I guess, um, or, or just a single one? So uh, I just get lost. So. Oh, it was breaking a little bit. Can you ah, okay, let me try again. Um, it, it sounds like a big organization that you, you worked at, a, a large organization. Did you did you have um, multiple flight level threes, so multiple uh, multiple versions of this, or was it just one for the whole organization? Well, uh, it was a, 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 a big organization, and, and, and we use it not for entire organization, only for the IT department, that it was a core part of, uh, you know, te telecommunication is important, uh, the IT part. And, and we have uh, uh, only one uh, board at, 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 at portfolio level, and, and we get about uh, 15 at the level two. And because they, they were they were like, like a mixture, a process between products, systems, and they call product uh, like uh, internet, uh, SMS campaigns, uh, IPTV. That, that's what were product in, the, in their semantics. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there were applications, there were channels, uh, you know, uh, phone channel, web channel, mobile channel, different channels. It was, it was very, very messy. So uh, we, we have like a 15 uh, level two uh, or coordination. Uh, boards, only one at, at the portfolio level, mm -hmm. and 43 or 45 uh, at, at, team, at team level. Cool. Thanks. 
I, I had a question from Carlo that said, how did you visualize outcomes rather than work? We used uh, OKRs to, mm, to, okay. to, to do that. And, and quarter uh, QBRs uh, every quarter to, to inspect how the that, that, uh, OKRs were moving or how the, yeah. Was that working at level two too? No, no. Uh, well, it creates actions at level two, but, but the, the, the core of OKRs is starting at level three. Yeah, I was more interested in the interaction, across team interaction at level two, how that keeps a view of the, of the outcomes. That is because, difficult, in my experience, the difficult bit. Yeah, but I think the, the key there is that you have to think about what's the key are that at a level two are moving and, and see. And OK. Yeah, yeah, OK. Th yeah, in the organization, you can do that quarterly. That's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks. Yeah, makes sense. OK, good. So I think we are we are out of time. Yeah, there is another question from Karen Ruby in the chat, Maro, but maybe she can connect with you in the Wello space uh, once we close down the session. So if if uh, if you're okay, I think we'll bring it to a close. Um, thank you, Maro, for a great presentation. Thank you, everyone, for attending. So thank you once again, everyone, and thank you, Maro, for a great session. Thank you, guys, for the invitation and for joining us. No problem. See you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.